All right, guys, so the next thing we need to talk about is the license package. Um, if you take a look in the description file, or the, not the license package, the license element of the description file, um, it tells you what license this is published under. And rather than me talk to you about it all, because again, I'm not a lawyer, so I don't wanna to talk to you about legal arguments without having the facts. Here is what is put in the version of writing our extensions that I accessed a week ago. Actually, the day this document was created. So 6-12-2017, this is subject to change. This is subject to everything else you wanna see. But basically, licensing for a package which might be distributed is important but potentially complex subject. It's very important you include a license, otherwise it may not even legally be legally correct for others to distribute copies of the package, let alone use it. So what you're doing with these licenses if you're, is you're setting the standard for how this is uh, used. One of the standard short specifications, here's GPLs, um, here's MIT, here's other license files, and it's gonna take a minute for this to load apparently. Here's what it looks like, here's the artistic license, um, just to show you what the MIT license looks like. This is one I've used a couple of times. This is based on opensourcelicense.org. This is a template, provide completed entries on the form. Here's year, here's the copyright holder. Here's license, plus, MIT plus file license in the description file, and here's your copyright. Permission is hereby granted free of charge to any person obtaining a copy of this software and associated documentation files, the software, to deal in the software without restriction, including without limitation, the rights to use of copy, modify, merge, publish, distribute, sublicense, and or sell copies of the software and to permit the persons whom the software is furnished to do so subject to the following conditions. The above copyright notice, this software is provided as is without warranty of any kind. That is very important. That is very important. Think about what that means for open source. If you're providing this and there is a warranty and you don't fill the warranty, uh-oh, what just happened, right? Um, here's all the things you can find. Now, if I go back, um, here's the GNU, here's BSDs, here's everything else. Um, R as a package is licensed under GPL2, GPL3. Um, you can figure out what that means, how it looks. So that, that's what you can see and what you're thinking about. Um, here's the language, here's everything. I highly suggest you read this. Um, the package management tools are under the FOSS free, free or open source software licenses. Um, so if you click this, of course, it takes you to Wikipedia because what else would R take you to? Um, here's GPL. Here's some history on it. They want some citations, you know, how this looks. So I I'll let you guys deal with this more. Um, I just want you to have the information. Again, I am not a lawyer and I am not able to give legal advice. I just know I use MIT or GPL because that's what other people have told me to do. Don't ask me why. Okay. All right, guys. Let me know if you have any other questions.